quick little update on my progress. I, you can see here, this is the Commodore 128D, and it's got a built-in disk drive, uh, unlike the C64, and its disk drive number is 1571. And I bought this drive SD card from Retro Innovations. And what this does is it basically creates another drive and you can put files on an SD card and access them. So my question was, can I transfer files from that drive, from the file with all those, the drive with all the files I get from the internet and write them to a disk here? And I can. What you're looking at here is the process this game Vampire is being written. Um, this is the number 10 disk drive, which is the SD drive. And up here is the 8 drive. The 8 drive is showing the program I'm running, which is called CBM Command. But actually, that's not what's in the drive right now. What's in the drive right now is an empty disk that is writing uh, several games as program files. So... I was wondering if I could do this, and I can. And that's really cool. So it's running. It takes a while because it's slow. Now, this helped me understand the real difference between the SD drive, which is called the IEC, the UIEC SD drive, versus the Zoom floppy. The Zoom floppy actually allows you to copy files directly from, say, your Mac or your PC, right, to a disk drive. So you put a, a, a disk in there, and you can copy what's called a C64 disk image right to that disk. It will write it, whatever is on that image. So, for example, if I go here to my um, documents, I go to my C128 documents, you'll see there's this a file that's called Burger Time, which is a program file, versus Bruce Lee, which is a D64, which is a disk image. I wanted to see if I could write individual program files to a disk, right? A blank disk. Because I maybe wanted to mix and match my own program files I found online. The Flash Zoom Floppy allows you to copy entire D64 disk images. So the D64 image like you see there right? Conan. Well, Conan is a D64 image. You can't see it there. That disc, that D64, that's an entire disc. I'm not sure, but I am pretty sure. Well, I'm not certain, but I think the Zoom Floppy only allows you to copy D64 images to discs, not program files, but I could be wrong. I do know for a fact, though, that using a program like CBM command, I can copy individual PRG files or program files to a disk, right? So I can write this disk with whatever file. So this is a 32 gigabyte SD card I have in there, which I can fill with just about every C64 game ever made and then some. So I can put them on and randomly write those program files to blank disks if I wanted to. And that was my experiment. It really helped me figure out the difference because I bought both between the IEC SD card, which is a really nice tool, and the Zoom Floppy, which is equally nice in terms of backing up your disks. I imagine I can go, yeah, I'm pretty sure, certain I can go the opposite way. So copy files from disk to the SD. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to because the SD drive is literally just that. It sees it as another disk drive. It just has 32 gigabytes of storage space versus maybe, I don't know, 64 kilobytes. Anyway, that's my latest experiments with the C64 and C128, which I'm basically running the Commodore 128D in C64 mode. One of the difference between the, the Zoom Floppy, which is there, and the SD card is the SD card seems to work fine in C64 mode, whereas the Zoom Floppy does not. It will only really 
right disc images for the C128. And that's that. Ciao.